Hi, I'm Miles Kupek. I'm the founder of Wakanda Food Forever. We're a food accelerator. Accelerators have been around for a long time uh, globally and the idea is create a place where amazing young creatives can come together and share some ideas but have the infrastructure to build a business, right? So one of the cool things we built here uh, in our accelerator is a shared kitchen. So entrepreneurs can R&D and test out new recipes and products and also get the benefit of an accelerator. In, that, in other words, we help them with marketing, HR, legal and all those uh, business development services. So my story with food is an interesting one. I'm a systems engineer by training. Um, I worked for Microsoft for about seven years, enjoyed it, traveled the world and you know, it was a really, really cool gig. My first day at Microsoft, in fact, it was in Seattle and Bill Gates was on stage and he was saying, we're gonna put PCs on every desktop in the world. I'm like, guy, I'm from Africa. We don't even have electricity or most of the continent and these, but the, the ability for them to dream big and think big. Um, and that changed me because if you think big, no matter what you do, even if you fail, you fail quite high up, right? So, and, and I thought that was a miss. South Africa's got such great potential, but I think maybe we don't dream big enough, but even when we do, we don't have the resources to back it up, right? And, and I thought, well, how about I compile all that knowledge from understanding how multinationals work, but also my experience, real lived experience in the food industry. How about I package that so that Usipo and Tamba, uh, or for example, Chloni and, and Smoo um, can benefit from that and, 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 and grow and, and, and realize that they can even dream big, uh, that the business could be national. Hell, they could be pan-African uh, and ultimately global. I don't spend a lot of time dwelling on my mistakes and, and I spend more energy focusing on the solutions. But if I were to say the biggest or challenges and mistakes we've done, almost all of them had a legal ramification to it. So if you plan your legal framework and your governance in the beginning, oh man, I can assure you, it will save you a lot of pain in the end of it. My top three tips. Tip number one, don't take any tips. Because honestly, in, in running a business or doing anything worthwhile, there is no template. Everything is a hypothesis, it's a guess. Sometimes it's an educated guess, but for the most part it's a guess. So don't overthink it, I guess that's number two. Just do it, really, you know, because if you overthink it, everybody will tell you 50 reasons why not to do it, right? Uh, and then once you've done it, this is the most amazing thing, is that um, you just keep doing the next logical step. Right? And I think my final tip is just start and often start small because it's less daunting, but start and it will never be perfect, I think. Uh, so it's probably more than three tips. If you don't have the right entrepreneur, you can never have the right business. And even if you have the right entrepreneur, if they're not in a good space, they mentally, uh, physically, health-wise, they, you know, they suck up the oxygen of their own business and they don't have the energy that is required to make it successful. So that's just one of the lessons we've learned from 2020 is that it's not just a great business, it's the leader who leads that great business.